Hey guys, so man, we're down at Herod Motorsport at the moment. We just see some cool stuff every day of the week. So we thought we'd show you a little bit of our day and basically show you what we're seeing right now, which is a whole row of very cool Mustangs, but there's some either cooler stuff. There's some very cool stuff inside. But uh, the boys are just packing up from Motor X. Well, obviously Motor X was a massive show. I didn't make it myself because the man flew. I've got over it now. But uh, I mean, look at these, these Mustangs, man. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful chrome wheels, massive brakes. I should say polished, but chrome polished. Hot Wheels Mustang. This thing made 900 horsepower at the tyres at Motor X. 900 horsepower. Built for Hot Wheels. Or the Hot Wheels Mustang, I should say. But yeah, it's just very cool. Man, they have some awesome stuff. But they have some cool stuff inside too, so let's have a look. So we've come down here today to actually pick up a voltage booster for Turbo Taxi. So we're going to put this voltage booster in there, fix our ignition. But man, they've got some cool stuff in there. One of their customers has uh, dropped off his truck. Very nice F100 pickup, 520Q big block, no door handles. I could reach in there and open the door, but I'll leave that alone. But yeah, really nice interior, airbags. Big steelies. This is going to make someone very happy. I'd love to have this. They're also bringing in another car for him. A, uh, was this Super Copper Jet? Copper Jet. Yeah. Great car. They just built this car for Milwaukee, promo car for Milwaukee. So. Look at that. So, one of their performance packages, uh, this is. Uh, Build number 218, it's got the Roush blow Robbie, you want to tell us about this? Yeah, yeah, Scotty, this is um, a car we built from Milwaukee for a promotional venture they were moving into. Uh, 670 horsepower, fully... Uh, I was going to ask how much power. Yeah, they make about 670 horsepower on our hub dyno, on our mainline hub, they make... Oh, so that's 670 at the rear hubs? No, no, oh, 670 okay. at, at, the, the, at, the, at the engine, which is what Ford cool. rated at. Yep. So, you know, it's a 500 kilowatt engine. Yeah. Cool. End of story, it's 500 awesome. kilowatt. You know, as, as you just said, we've built this is building up at 218. Um, all these Mustangs we built are all fully warranted, backed by Ford America, and they're fully compliant. So, as way. you were saying before, this is one of your Ford. Yeah, it's a Ford package. package. Yep. And then when you say for aftermarket stuff, you use, tend to use the Edelbrock well, yeah, stuff? Edelbrock stuff, yeah. Look, when guys want a heap more power, because this is only a 2.3 litre supercharger yep. for this, we've got some people that want to go beyond what this is. So We've got one just here, haven't we? Well here we go. This is this is well here's, here's an F series, right? So we do an F series supercharger which, which we're from Edelbrock on it. It's the E Force blower. Um, this one we done a week or so ago. It's just back for its first checkup. So that was two point three liters. So two point three this is a two point six five. There yeah. you go, cool. Yeah. And the tw the twenty eighteen Mustang in the full performance range we're going to a two point six litre. Oh okay. And we Working with Ford America, we believe 700 horsepower at the crank on the new 2018. Wow. Yeah. So what would this one make? Good question. Um, you know, I don't even know the figures it made at the end of the day. It's probably going to make 680, 690, you know? Because it's just like a standard 5 litre bottom yeah. end, isn't it? Yeah. Just with a blower plank yeah. plonked on it and obviously your tune and yeah. all the yeah, development well, you guys have done. Well, see, so what we do with these is we develop the tune vault. We give a full engine and drive line warranty with this package. Wow. You know, and it's the same with the Mustang. We, with with the Edelbrock package, we've got deals throughout Australia who fit the Edelbrock package. We just the package there being now packed up for Connaught yeah. CMV up in Sydney. That's heading out today. Yeah. Uh, the boys at North Meet up in Sydney. They've done a hell of a lot of them. So yeah, they've been doing some good Mustangs. They've been doing. You know, yeah. Bill and Nick do a great job up there, and um, that is what we do. So the, the the guys that want that bit more power or whatever, they're going to these Edelbrocks. You know. And yeah. Cool. You know, like we just do another one now on this truck here. So what is this? This is a good question, mate. I think it's about a 2016, 2017 model. F150. 150, yeah. Brad, who's obviously just gone to lunch, um, who's the mechanic working on his truck. So another E-Force blower going on yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, a pretty, pretty cool thing. It's amazing that you can take a stock motor like this, put that on. Yeah. 650 horsepower. Mate, look, I'm telling you, yeah. like, uh, you take these things down the road and you hoof it, it'll just start frying the tyres. Wow. 
it's it, they're pretty they're pretty, but you can still drive it like a yeah. normal car yeah so not undrivable just no but, no no yeah. a, a good mile you know it probably gets 10 11 litres per 100 k's on a big truck like this awesome. on the open highway you know they're a good thing i wish my daily driver did that yeah yeah <laughs> another so one of your packages this is uh on this. yeah it's another car being built um it's been registered this car it's been bought to a supply by the owner today so it's having the uh Ford performance supercharger on it so as you can see everything's it's, pulled apart it's all nice and clean as yeah. well so because like you said it's brand new basically yeah i think it's done 700 k's or something in this car the guys were saying this morning so um you know we strip them right down like my guys know what they're doing with them, yeah so you know. and that's getting one of the ford packages like the ford, the Milwaukee this, car. Yeah, yeah so it'll get ford package it's that it'll get the what we call the fr3 suspension which is spring shockers damper sway bars there's getting the, the big GD350 brake kit on it as well, yeah, cool. which we've got on this blue car here. If you want, maybe you can sort of tune into it somewhere. Yeah. Sorry about all the mess, but coming back from uh, You're just Motor packing X up from Motor X, Motor so, yeah. X on the weekend, you know, we've uh, got a lot. So that's wow. the um, that's the GD350 brake kit. This is a car we're building. these wheels too. The yeah, wheels. there's a Shelby wheel, which is what the owner requested we put on his car. So we sourced that and. Uh, we run the, the Continental Sport 6 tyres on everything that we do, which is just yeah. one Motor Magazine's tyre of the year, which is a cool thing. So, yeah. So what are they, a two, yeah, two, nine five two nine thirty five? twenty yeah. on the back and a, and a two wow. seven, six, two six five thirty five on the front. Two six fives and two nine fives. Yeah, so um, they're like an 11 inch rim, rear nine and a half front. Yeah, this one again, this one's got one of our leather trims in it, so we yeah. do our own unique trim. Okay. It's, all, it's all pulled in pieces. So it's not just standard Mustang stuff? No, no, that, that's, that's a leather trim we do. Like if you want to get some pictures of the Milwaukee car. That's oh, the a, Milwaukee. That's a pretty unique really cool. one. Some other stuff that may be of interest to people that we got up here, we've, you know, we've got guys that um, are really keen on going faster. You know, they're, they're the guys that we built that base car for now. And he's yeah. going, I want more, I want more, you know. So yeah. we're up and this has got a... Ah. This is one of our ones where we do we do an, an upgraded grip tech pulley for so it. The same blower, but it's the same supercharger. Smaller pulley. It's got a smaller pulley. We do use a, a Deutsch Deutschwerk fuel injector in them. We have yeah. a Deutschwerk pump that we work with them with. No, sorry, this one does have a Deutschwerk. This one's going further because we're going to run on an E85. Oh, cool. We have a, a good friend of mine, Justin Fiore, in uh, in the US. He makes D trick fuel systems yeah. for most of the, the real hotty cars over there. So we've already fitted all the braided lines in the different fuel rails and whatever. So to run this thing on the 85. Like, look, at, look at the, uh, this, is, this is what's gonna power the fuel pump. Okay. Like, uh, it's pretty serious so shit. Is it going to be boost activated or? No, 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 so no it'll just, this is just what runs run it. all the time? Um, yep. you know, here's the, the fuel oh, pump. Twin there's pumps. A, yeah, twin yeah. pumps that'll go in it. You know, so uh, he does a beautiful, beautiful job. So, um, you know, it's all, it's all. It just drops in the tank. That just fits, fits straight tank. in the factory tank. Beautiful. We run dash eight lines to and from the fuel tank. Uh, it'll have a big, big Ford Motorsports throttle body on it. And, you know, it should make, you know, 850, 900 horsepower at, at the rear. That's awesome. Yeah. Signed by Dickie. Yeah, signed by DJ. And uh, I can't remember the exact numbers this thing's run over the quarter mile at standard form. This has got. Um, a 373 diff ratio in it and it's a we bit should, of a hottie this thing we should borrow one off you for drag challenge well yeah yeah that'd be, that'd be a good thing one day <laughs> you know so uh, we get 200 people entered for drag challenge actually 220 cool, at it? the moment so yeah. yeah yeah it's a good event it's i mean well when's the last time you heard of you know over 200 people signing up for an event and paying up front yeah. six months before it it's even good, happens it? yeah so yeah. it's everyone's pretty excited yeah so. Yeah, it'd be yeah. awesome to see one of your cars down yeah. the drag challenge, but, uh, but yeah. We might, do that. we might do that with one of our 2018s. Once we've got our 2018s up and running, we might, might do something with you. I the 2018 is a, a pretty good thing. Yeah, no, know, I think so. it'd be awesome. Yeah. What else we got? Oh, let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, we'll uh, This is uh, pretty unique. So, you know, the whole idea is when Walkie wanted something that says, I'm the Walkie. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, love, I love the little the logo little horse, the the horse on the horse ground. On the, floor. the yeah. lights come from the doors. Yeah, so if you have a look at the interior, it's all red and white, all the stitching matches, all the Milwaukee colours, but we put the electric flash that Milwaukee's renowned for uh, into, in cool. into the seat. And then, yeah, Milwaukee on the seat. Yeah, it's got the, it's got the Herod logo in the top, it's got a Herod steering wheel in it, it's got Herod all embossed in oh, the yeah. steering wheel. 
that. The stuff that we do ourselves, we try and make it not in everybody's face. Yeah. You know, just... Subtle. Subtle. Yeah, that's, that's just subtle. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, like, the, like, like the, the stripes. Thing. The stripes got... It's got hair at them walking in, in the stripes, you know? So, uh, that's a pretty good thing, so... Wheels look beautiful too. Yeah, they're a Momo wheel again. Continental Sport six tyres, and you know uh, it's got the big, big GT three hundred and fifty brakes on. They're huge, uh, and, and they're not Check expensive. You know, like um, on a new Mustang, to supply and fit that brake package is just under seven thousand dollars. Wow. You know, I can give you a look down the back. You know, we've got uh, stuff we just bought back from Motorex. It's not hard to spend seven grand on a car these days. Well, it's not, you know, but like, you know, in the past, we've got an old Falcon mine in there. The brakes cost me 10 grand wow. 18 years ago. Yeah. But, you know, excuse me, stuff being wrapped up in place because it's just come over from MotorX. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, it's... Uh, I've had cars with smaller wheels than that. Yeah, but, like, for $7,000, you get front and rear rotors, you know, front and rear rotors, front and rear calipers, handbrake assemblies, all new steering, all new knuckles for the back, and new drive shafts. That's amazing. Brake hoses, you know, just under seven grand supplied and fitted. It's a, it's a bargain. That is brilliant. And it's all genuine for componentry, you know. I've seen many guys spend like seven grand. This is back in the day on Commodores. Yeah, yeah. spend seven grand on some Brembo's, but all I get, rotors, yeah, exactly. hats, calipers. Yeah. And then off you go, go yeah. fit them. Not rear suspension. No. No, well, that's not drive, drive shafts. Drive shafts. Man, no, you know, the whole that thing. Is awesome. It's like we were talking on this this grey car over here. It's getting these brakes, and it's also getting this suspension kit, which is like shock absorbers, spring dampers, sway bars, bushes. Yeah, you know, it's like thirty two hundred dollars supplied yeah. and fitted and wheel lined. Yeah, you know? the the Ford Performance gear that we do is very very reasonably priced. Yeah. You know, like the package cars we do with full ADR compliance, they're not super expensive. It's amazing that they're all complied too. So buy all this stuff, yeah. get all this stuff. Legal, like 600 yeah. plus horsepower, legal yep. with big brakes. And, and you all know stuff. what? Look, we've, as you see, we're up to like there's built 218. There's, these other ones will add numbers to that 218. Yeah, yeah. But out of all those cars that have gone Australia wide, we have not had one car back with an engine, gearbox, drive line problem. That is amazing. Not one. We've had them with the occasional squeaky belt when it first starts up in the morning. Yeah. You know, it, people just, are finicky, aren't they? And it's like, I want all this, and if yeah. the belt squeaks, no, nah, get yeah. rid of it. Yeah, That's but you insane. know what I mean, it just shows, like working with Ford Performance, the engineers there, my guys are really trained up well, yeah. and, and if we have one ounce of problem, I know exactly who to contact in the US, and as silly as it sounds, we were going to them when we were finding problems and solving problems, and going, wow, we haven't seen that, and you know, yeah. so it's, oh, it's, it's a really good relationship. It's sort of relationship that you can, yeah, help each other. So. Well, it, it is good, you know, like, I'm pretty proud, like the last two years running, we've got Ford Performance Top 10 Dealer Awards in the US. I've got, I've That's actually amazing. got um, big things up in my office, award, top 10 dealer award. From Ford when you're competing but, against US dealerships. Yeah, and well, you know, according to the bosses of Ford Performance, I, like, I made the top five last year, I believe. I'm, I, I could be wrong, but I think they only give you a top 10 dealer award, but I sort yeah. of had hints we were sort of pretty well up there. Um, That's amazing. It's pretty good. So that means out of the US, we're number one in the world for Ford Performance. Yeah. It's not bad, yeah, is it? That is awesome. Yeah. I love this engine on the stand too. Yeah. That's cool. This demonstrates you buy a crate engine. In a crate, we have a wiring harness, we have an accelerator pedal. You hook, hook a fuel system up to it, turn the key, positive, negative, bang, it runs. We definitely need to do this for carnage. We need to put a coyote in something. Yeah. And, yeah, and we, we, we supply them now with a, with a six speed automatic transmission that they run in the 2015 to 17 Mustang or a six speed Tremec. You can buy the whole package. We, we sold one yesterday, we sold one a couple of weeks ago. You know, we've got uh, one engine being picked up tomorrow by from Greg Maskell, who yeah. had a lot of work Greg to do with Max that. Yeah, killer, it'll killer mass muscles here tomorrow to pick an engine up yeah. for a build he's doing. For, you know, I think it's going into an F truck. Yeah. You know, um, it, it, it's good. I want to. There's a number of people that have won Motor X. I'm trying to think of his name. Henry. Henry, he had. Um, oh, with the. the Henry Parry? Parry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Hen Henry's got one of these engines. Oh, wow. For the build he's doing. Because he's hardcore holding guys. Yeah, so well, he, Henry's building a car and uh, he's got one of our engines that he's doing. So it's it's good to see that this yeah. is going to start evolving. Yeah. You know, so um, no, it's yeah. not all about us just building Mustangs. We want to support the street rider, the hot rider. We can't necessarily do the work, but we can supply the knowledge and we can supply the parts. Yeah. You know, we're not set up for doing street no. machine work, you no. know, we're here and to build. Your business is geared around yeah. bringing these in, doing your kits, yeah. that sort of thing, working with Ford, 
you know, if guys want to do the specialised, the twin turbo thing or the conversions yeah. of crazy this into an yes. old F truck, there's Correct. plenty of business out there. Correct. You sell them the gear, they can go Correct. do that. Correct. And, you know, the Works. people come to us who don't have any idea what they want to do, we can lead them and then we'll, we'll steer them to the Cad Customs and Carmine or to Greg yeah. Maskell or yeah. whoever it may be, we steer them in a, in a direction of the right people, yeah. you know, that can do the work. Yeah, cool. But yeah. All right, well, we're going to go right, take mate. our, um, our go, little go test voltage that, booster. Go uh, little voltage, the JMS booster, mate. I, I can't recommend JMS highly enough. It's a good product. Yeah. Awesome. But, yeah. Cool. Right, mate. Through you, Scotty. All right. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Thank you. I think we're going to duck around to McDonald Brothers now to see those guys. So, follow us. So, we've just been down at Herod Motorsport, just down the road. We're in Th Thomas Town still. We're at McDonald Brothers. We're going to go in, have a look and uh, see what they've got going on out the back. Do, do, do. Obviously they're uh, well known for all their prefab kits, like rear clips, you can buy everything. You buy that as a whole setup. So suspensions, independent front, rear, uh, front suspensions, uh, there's a HQ rail, it's all custom A arms and stuff like that. So they make just about everything when it comes to the chassis and diffs. McDonald Brothers do it all. So we'll get out of the display room, we'll go out the back. Wall of Fame, man, these guys have done it all when you look at it. They've been years of drag racing. They used to do a heap of tea bucket kits. That's how they pretty much started doing tea bucket kits back in the day. You know, Ray and Russell, and uh, yeah, basically they've been around forever. So. Oh, this is cool. HK LSX 454, so stout engine combo. It's got one of their rear ends in it as well. They've done a whole bunch of this. It's got a front end, rear end. Very cool. It's interesting to see guys are still, like, Monaro's a big dollar car. You know, like, you cannot buy a cheap Monaro anymore. And guys are still spending big bucks on it. Twin turbo LSX, or, uh, sorry, not necessarily LSX, but let's say twin turbo LS going into that Commodore, full chassis. It's gonna be a serious deal. HQ Tana, so anyone who's ever worked on a HQ Ute, this is what's under them. So the boys have actually narrowed the chassis in so you can put some big fat rubber under a HQ Ute. Obviously got all their independent front suspension arms as well, so all the custom A arms. This is all McDonald Brothers gear, obviously factory HQ rails. They're just coming up with a power um, steering kit for it, like a rack and pinion power steering kit, because usually they've got like, you know, steering box bolted here under the front rail, so. HQ Ute's pretty much what I started with. Built my first one at 16, so yeah. I've spent a lot of time on one of those. Cool little Tirana boys are putting new chassis rails in it, new suspension, nine inch, a whole deal. Now, from underneath, obviously you can see this is really modified, but the way they like to do it is that uh, from the top side, you can't see any of it, like it looks factory from the top side. So when Mr. Police Officer pulls you up and looks in and goes, ah, it's all standard, mate. So, all standard, mate. Falcon XW or XY. It's hard to tell when they don't have panels on. It's amazing when you look under these things, they don't have an actual chassis rail through there. So the chassis rail en ends there and starts there again and it's just floor pan in, be in between. So it's pretty much all, all the strengths in the sills. So, you know, when you get serious with these things, you really want to connect that front and rear chassis. But uh, what the boys have done is they're cutting the rear end out for a set of these big boys. 
three two fives are going up under this. So that is a lot of rubber for one of these. That's going to look awesome. Look at that. There's not much metal left. And then there's their, their own little baby here. That's it. No, don't talk to these guys. <laughs> So from MotorX on the weekend, um, what did it make? About 1,200 of the tyres, 1,200 horsepower at the tyres. This thing, 383 cube small block, two little Garrett turbos. Well, when I say little, like 3584s thereabouts. Split the intake manifold. It split the intake manifold on this side previously. We've seen that happen, and then uh, they fixed that up, and that's uh, then split this side. And we've actually got video of that happening. Aiden's been uh, editing it this morning, actually. So look out for that video on the dyno, making 1,200, and then she goes, boop. So, yeah, pretty cool. But this thing, what's this run, Chris? 830, 171. 830, 171 mile an hour, and it will go sevens eventually. It, it's still early days, really, for this car, isn't it? Yeah, we haven't really, really had a track to really lean on it yet, yeah. so... Because you started off single turbo, like a big single. Yeah, big 106. And then you've gone to the twins and you were saying at the same boost level with the twins, it makes 200 it's horsepower yeah. more. It's, it's insane, yeah. isn't it? You it's think boost. boost is boost, but no. Yeah. I think it's all in turbo efficiency yeah. and that sort of yeah. thing. And, you know. I think there's a lot more to it. Yeah. But no, that's cool. And it's cool that it's got like a small block Chev in a car that would have had an LS. It's <laughs> different. It's insane, isn't it? So what are you going to do about this? I think we'll just do a repair job while yeah. we're waiting for the Plasma Man intake. Oh, so you got one of the, those cool the Plasma billet, Man billets. billets oh, think, yeah. So. yeah. So we'll That's wait the way for that. Go. I think we'll just patch that up for now and yeah. see how fast we can make it go. Yeah, Yeah, because I remember when you split it down that side and yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's only a matter of time, I think, yeah. before the other side. So I think yeah. we'll have to reinforce it a little bit. Well, it was never made for this sort of boost level, was no. it? So. It was just a, a fill-in. Yeah. Who made that? I'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> Just stab him in the heart. Oh, wow. Slap. Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's harsh. So what else is going on? Um, yeah, I think we need... Have you guys been pumping through this stuff promptly? Yeah, the mail was insane. Yeah. Right? Wouldn't have thought. There's so many other shops out there that we supply, like little shops. Yeah. So, like you were saying, you know, people buy like a, a rear clip, so they'll pop in their own. It's like rear clip, diff housing, centre, brakes, the whole deal. And then, the, you know, you've got people out there that are actually putting these things in themselves, not yeah. even just shops, but obviously you get a lot of, you deal with yeah, a lot of shops. shops. Yep, but a lot of people at home, yep. Yeah, guys at home are actually tackling these jobs themselves, which I think is amazing. I don't know that I would be brave, brave enough to do it myself, but uh, maybe one day, maybe we'll do it as a carnage thing one day. Yeah, Scotty puts know. in a rear clip. <laughs> that could be dangerous. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but no, they're, they're being really popular actually, more popular than you imagine. So. Yeah. Well, I love it. You've got all the brackets and stuff there, so as long as you get your angles right yep. within the car, yeah, pretty exactly. much good to go, aren't you? Square it up you? properly and yeah. level everything. Yeah. Put that same measure twice. Yeah, once. yeah, yeah. Pretty much. I love that they're all rounded too. They're not just bang, 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 you know, so... Yeah. That'll do you well. That is awesome. Got a that one's, that's another sort of kit all packed yeah, up. Yeah, exactly the, the same sort of deal. This one's a triangulated. A lot yep. of people now want to keep the back seat, so we get yeah, a yeah. triangulated. That one's more of a race version. You okay. your back seat. But yeah. But yeah, the triangulated is as popular as popular now. Yeah. As you can imagine, everyone wants to multi-purpose their car now. Yeah, so. everyone wants to take their, their kids for a ride in their eight-second car. car. Yeah. <laughs> it's common now, isn't it? So the boys are actually putting together a nine-inch and... Uh, Four links set up together at the moment for a HX wagon of all things. So it's got a twin turbo LS 427 or something in a HX wagon. So they've done nine inch, set it up for brakes big enough to fit inside a 15 inch rim because their run's doing 15s these days. You know, no one puts big billets on their cars anymore. So obviously rails and everything for the four link. 
Hey Chicks Wagon. That's insane. You know, so this will be very cool. So obviously digging it right on the table, we've got it all welded together. Man, it's very cool. Anyway, I think we'll get out of the boys here and we'll uh, motor on out. But uh, I reckon that'll probably do us for this video too. So I hope you enjoyed our first in what I'm hoping will be a long series of uh, showing you what we see every day sort of views. We'll call them Carnage Plus. Welcome to Carnage Plus.